hello happy wednesday i am wearing constellation i've been wearing constellation for a few days and i'm gonna take it off um i put it on this weekend because i went to see avril lavigne and i wore constellation to avril lavigne and i feel like it was just absolutely perfect um, but now i'm gonna take it off yay hey tracy <laughs> I'm glad you don't have work and I'm glad you're joining. I'm so glad. Um, I went to Avril Lavigne. I just said that, but um, it was a blast. And I wore Constellation and it was perfect. Uh, but now I'm excited to take it off. And we're going to talk about some mustard, yellowy colors. Um, and I just, I can't wait because I love these colors so, so much. Um, I, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else about Avril Lavigne, but I can't remember. So, um, she was, it was like Avril Lavigne and Simple Plan. So it's very fun. My teenage heart was very happy. I am ready for fall colors. So I think I'm going to put on Sienna tonight. Um, I might do Smiley, but I'm really feeling Sienna. So I think that's where I'm going to go. Let me know what you are wearing. You can just describe the color. You can tell us what it's called, whatever you prefer. Um, but I always love to get a little inspiration from the folks who are joining me. Yes, the, the fall yellows are so good. <laughs> I just love them all. Love them all. Um, on my ring finger here, I am wearing a um, winter color that I just got the final sample for. Um, it is this gorgeous bottle. Look at that. Yes, that's winter, so that'll be a long time, but um, I'm really excited for it. <laughs> and I just have one cut coat on this finger here. Um, but yeah, that was a little sneak peek. Yeah, this would be a fun Skittle. Totally agree. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're going like almost from like bright yellow down to like yellow green here. That's pretty cool. I already wore Sunburst um, recently, but because I feel like it's a good like transition into fall color. Um, let me know what's on your nails. I always love to hear what people are wearing. It makes me feel like I'm getting a little inspiration, which I appreciate. I am going to put on Sienna, but then um, I'm only going to wear it for a couple days because next week is my birthday and I always wear Emerald for my birthday. Um, that's my nail polish color for my birthday. So I'm excited to do that next week. I'm just taking Constellation off over here. Hey, Janine. Constellation is, I think, the color that um, it has, like, the, the biggest glitter of any olive oil polish color. So this one takes just a, just a hair of elbow grease to remove. Um, it's not crazy, but it does take a little bit of elbow grease. So that's what I'm doing right now. A red, nice. Emily, that sounds great. I actually considered doing reds tonight, but unpacking, oh my gosh, that sounds like unpacking just never ends, right? When you move, <laughs> it's just a project that goes on forever and you want to wear palm trees. Um, I love that. So you're still in summer mode, it sounds like. I think last week people were about 50-50, like half people that I asked were um, moving on to fall and half people are still wearing um, summer colors, so. I'm always curious. I'm full on fall. I'm ready. I love fall colors. And I always feel like fall is too short. Like it just all of a sudden it's winter holiday time and I don't feel like I got to wear all my fall colors. So I'm fine with starting a little early <laughs> personally. If you just joined us, um, let us know what you're wearing because I always love to hear that. And um, I'm taking off Constellation. I put it on this weekend because I went to the Avril Lavigne concert and it felt like just the best color for that concert. And it was, honestly, I had a blast. Um, I had so much fun. Radiance, oh, I love that. That's such a good transition color, Peggy. That's so fun. I love that color. If I hadn't already worn it this summer, it would probably honestly be going on this week. That sounds like a great one to wear right now. So Constellation does have a little bit of glitter in it, so that's what I'm removing right now. And I 
I don't find that with this one I need to like let it soak or anything. I'm just doing a little bit of a little bit of extra friction, a little bit of extra elbow grease, and it's coming it's coming off. But it definitely takes a little bit more than a you know a standard cream. Um, my other hollows don't have the same issue, so because they're a little bit of a smaller glitter particle. Issue feels like a a, a bold, bold statement. It's not really an issue, but it's just the way glitter works. I do feel like I need to file my nails, but I'm not going to do it tonight. We're going to do it. I'll do it another time before my birthday, Manny. Okay, last one. All right, so I'm going to put on some base coat and then we'll do a little um, comparison. Red or brown. I feel like red and brown, Janine, they can be year-round colors. So you could wear a red or a brown even if you feel like it's a little early. I'm going to wear a mustard, so I think we can do whatever we want. Okay, here we go. All right, so I put on some base coat. Hey, Denise. Nice to see you. Put on some base coat and I'm going to um, try these on. I love them. You're wearing Virgo topped with hail. Yes. Okay. Denise has some Virgos in her life. So rocking that Virgo color, which I love. All right. I'm going to start with Smiley. This one came out last year and I think I called it like a prugly color, which means like pretty ugly, you know, both pretty and ugly. Um, but really, I think it's just like a yellow mustard color. I think it's, I think it's delicious, personally. Janine, I feel like, I know you love reds. I feel like I haven't seen you, um, you post a red in a while, so maybe it's time. Okay, and then this one is Sienna. This one was in my second fall collection, I think. This one's more of a, like, caramel mustard color so it has more of that like almost like honey color um which i love <laughs> yeah well i feel like um tracy given your work that makes sense 100 percent. okay and then this is hayride this was in my first ever fall collection adore this one so much this one is actually almost sold out um, I think it's low in stock, so it'll probably go out, you know, at some point this fall. And then we'll have to see if it comes back next year. But I love it. Okay, and then Sunburst. Sunburst isn't really a mustard, but um, I have four yellows in my collection right now, and so I thought I would just talk about all four of them. I also feel like Sunburst is a great color. If you're not ready to let go of fall yet, and you, or sorry, not ready to let go of summer yet, and you want to kind of hold on to it, but you're ready to start dipping your toes in fall, Sunburst totally reminds me of like sunflowers. It has that little bit of orange in it. So I think it's perfect for a transition color if, if that's what you're in the mood for. Um, okay, I'm going to go do a second color, second coat. Here's Smiley. I'm considering wearing Smiley to my next in-person event because um, I feel like it's a color that like people see it in the bottle and they're like, oh, I would never wear that. And then they see it on the nails and they're like, oh, that's so fun. I would totally wear that funky color. So maybe I'll wear it and then people will want to pick it up if they see it. Okay, this is Sienna, second coat. Sienna is a pretty opaque formula. Like I'm doing two coats because I'm doing them on all, but I think honestly it looked pretty good on one these up. Yay. There we go. I do usually go to bed at like nine o'clock um, on 
nights that are not Wednesdays. <laughs> so sorry for that interruption. Um, okay, here is Hayride. I need to clean my Hayride bottle off. That neck of that bottle is getting a little yucky. I'll do that later tonight. Love. Yeah, great question, Janine. Um, usually it's like a mix between what I want to wear and, um, I don't know. I feel like there are some polishes that I just think are really helpful for people to see in person. So I've actually, I almost have always worn, I think, um, like a non-cream finish because I feel like they're just helpful to see, like they're easier to visualize out of the bottle. So like, I think at a recent one I wore, um, I wore Radiance. And then I think the one before that I wore Hail over Vernal maybe. Um, so I feel like there are some that are just really helpful to see out loud, out loud. Um, in person, I think you know what I mean <laughs> when I say that. Okay, two coats of sunburst. Um, I have, um, racks, uh, like acrylic racks that hang on the wall. Um, and they're, you know, they're like flat up against the wall and they're what? One, two, three, four, five, six, six shelves deep. Um, and I keep them, I should show, I can, sh I can put this in stories. Um, and, but they're basically, I have them like by season, but I've separated out the ones that um, are no longer like that are retired. I have those just like on a different shelf. Um, cause I feel like it's helpful for me to see like what's active. Um, because I just don't really like to talk about colors that are not active as much. Um, cause that feels, I don't know, it feels rude. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have those separated out, but otherwise it's like, yeah, it's by season. Yeah. I love it. Doing it by season just makes me so happy. So, uh, okay. So here are four yellows. Yellow might be a generous description for a couple of these, but uh, this first one is Smiley. Um, I would say Smiley is like a perfect Dijon mustard color. It has a little bit of green, a little bit of brown. Um, it was in the 2023 fall collection. And then here is Sienna. This one is a bit more of that caramel kind of honey color. Um, so it still has a little bit of that green undertone. So it's definitely related to Smiley, but uh, not identical. And then Hayride was in my first ever fall collection in 2020. And this one is, uh, much more of a like yellow mustard color. So it doesn't have the green undertone that, um, Smiley and Sienna have. And so it's much kind of warmer and a little bit softer if that's what you're looking for. And then Sunburst over here is of course the beautiful bright marigold yellow, but I feel like this one is great for like the transition to fall because it, um, isn't quite a highlighter yellow. It has that, like, just a little bit of orange in it. Okay, yay! Um, any other questions or things I can chat about with these before I take them off? And it's just, I think I'm just gonna do Sienna. I just want to wear Sienna. Um, I'm ready. I'm so ready for fall. Let me know if you're a fan of these um, kinds of colors, because I think they can be a little divisive. Um, the mustards, the yellows. Um, yeah, let me know if you're a fan of, of mustards and yellows, because I love them, but um, they're not like, you know, the greatest sellers in the entire world. So I'm always curious um, how people feel about them. But I think they're lovely. I just, yeah. I wore Sunburst two weeks ago, mm, last week, <laughs> man. My sense of time is not very great right now, but um, I loved it. It was really fun. It was like so cheery and happy and bright. Um, and I thought it was a blast. So I'm gonna take these off. And then we're gonna do Sienna. I kind of want to wear Hayride, but Hayride to me is just like a very September color. So I'm gonna wear Hayride later. I'm gonna wear Sienna now. It is coming in September, Tracy. <laughs> um, yeah, September. Okay, Peggy. So Peggy's not a huge mustard fan, so maybe not Smiley, but more like Sienna or Hayride, maybe? Are those caramel enough for you? 
yeah mustard can be divisive i love it but i also in my wardrobe i like to wear yellow i don't wear i mostly wear like navy white and blue like you know denim blue um but i do wear some yellow we actually just decided we get our family photos taken in october um with a photographer we know who does you know just like mini sessions or like 20 minutes each um and so we just booked it and so we decided we're gonna wear like yellow and navy for our family photo which i'm really excited about um but yeah so i feel like i wear a lot of yellow um or more than maybe is in the average person's closet but i like yellow a burnt yellow warmer orange yep that sounds nice yeah i feel like people just need to find the color that works for them. I feel the same way about greens. People, especially um, at in-person events, people are always like, oh my gosh, I could never wear green. Um, and, you know, I'm like, you just have to find the green that's going to work for you. That's the thing. I don't know, Janine. I think I'm going to wear, um, Janine asked what I'm going to wear for my nails in my family photos. I think I'm going to do a blue. So um, I have to kind of just figure out exactly what our colors look like. I'm probably wearing, I think I'm wearing a solid yellow top. Um, and so then maybe my nails will need to be like navy, but I'm leaning towards MOTN, middle of the night. Um, but I kind of want to try and match it to the blue and whatever Michael decides to wear. Uh, Michael's my husband. So maybe Jostler, maybe Signature, maybe MOTN. Those are kind of the things that I'm the things that I'm leaning towards. Yeah. I have time to decide because it's not till um, October. So I'm planning too far in advance probably, but I find it enjoyable. So yeah. A gateway green. Peggy, I love describing zinc as a gateway green. That's so smart. <laughs> yeah. Zinc is because it's a little bit like a neutral, right? Zinc is almost neutral. So, all right, we're going in with Sienna. Yes. I feel like sometimes I wonder, you know, I'm like, I think this is what I want to wear. I'm not sure. And then once I see it on the nails, I'm like, yep, yep, that's what I want to wear. I just stink and love this color so much. Love it. Um, this base coat is uh, coming soon. Yeah. It is coming soon. I have been using it for several months now, um, and I'm pretty obsessed with it. And I'm obsessed with this color, holy cow. Yes. I'm gonna dive right into fall because I'm doing Sienna this week, and then this weekend, I think I'm going to do Olive, and then next week I'm going to do Emerald because it is my birthday next week, and Emerald is what I like to wear on my birthday, so that's what I'm going to do. Oops. My fall collection launches in September, um, so it is coming. But I haven't released any more information than that. Oh, there we go. Um, Janine was here last weekend and got a little sneak peek. She was visiting, so that was fun. Foliage. Yay, Peggy, I love that you were wearing foliage. Foliage, I was so happy wearing it. I just thought it was gorgeous. I maybe hadn't worn it as a full mani in a while. I don't think I wore it last year. I honestly can't remember. Um, but I really loved wearing it last week. And I got some great, you know, kind of in real life clips of it that I'm excited to wear. Yes. I'm excited to share. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, I'm excited. I kind of forgot that it was my birthday until uh, 
uh, like two days ago. I was trying to book a hair appointment and one of their only open slots was on my birthday. And I was like, oh yeah, that's next week. <laughs> Time flies. Time flies. Um, okay, Sienna. All right, I'm gonna do two coats, my second coat. Um, and then I do need to clean the neck of this bottle. It's gonna drive me crazy. So I will do that once I've finished both my coats. Oh my gosh, adore this color. I remember the first time I wore this color. Um, my boss at the time, who um, didn't know, I think at the time I just, I had my YouTube channel um, and I had started all of Off Polish, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't really talk about it that much, especially with my boss at work. I always felt a little weird being like, yeah, I'm gonna go home and just work on my, at that point, my side hustle, right? Um, anyways, my boss, um, <laughs> I remember wearing this to work and she was like, well, that is the most interesting nail polish color that I have ever seen. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, she thought it was, I don't think she loved it is the, is the story, but I love Sienna. I think it's gorgeous and that's what matters is that you love the color you're wearing. Nobody else has to love it. Okay. Sienna. I just want to sing it because it's so beautiful. Love it. All right, oh, I feel like a lot of you are here who weren't here at the beginning. So if you weren't here at the beginning and you didn't tell us um, what is on your nails, let us know because I always like to hear what's on your nails. You can just describe the color. You can tell us what it's called, whatever you prefer. Um, I always think it's fun to see what's out there. It's okay if it's not an olive oil polish color. You can just describe it to us or tell us what it is if you want. That's fine. Um, but I love hearing what other people are wearing. And there might be somebody on here who's trying to decide what to paint and you could inspire them. Uh, so let that, let us know. Chemistry, oh my gosh, I love it. What a fun color. Chemistry is so good. All right, so I'm just gonna clean the neck of my bottle here. I have the, um, uh, what is this called? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I have the cotton round that I used when I took off the comparison that I did. And now my neck is so clean. Oh, look at that. So satisfying. And now this polish will last forever. Okay, so that was Sienna. Two coats. Obsessed. And now I'm going to do a little quick dry top coat. I think I need to clean the neck of this guy too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This isn't the bottle that I usually use. This one was just on my rack. The one I usually use is inside because that's where I painted my nails this weekend. Um, so this one has maybe been sitting here for a little while. If you've been here, you've heard me say this before, but um, I don't wait for the polish to dry before I put on my quick dry top coat. The point of quick dry top coat is to let it dry the polish underneath. Um, and so as long as you do two nice thin coats, um, they will be tacky, but not, you know, super wet. And so you can just float your top coat on top and then you do not need to wait for it to dry. Um, the quick dry top coat will dry it for you. And I think that's something that, um, people are always surprised when I say that you can do it wet. Um, but I didn't get any transfer, right? There's no color transfer on the brush because I'm just letting it float. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm dropping this bead and then just kind of pushing it around, but I'm not dragging my brush at all. Um, I'm really just trying to let the product self level, um, which takes practice for sure, uh, but definitely lets you get all the benefits of quick dry top coat because then the top coat will dry the nice thin layers underneath for you. And you can just get on with your you need to turn them off. Not having top coat shrink. Um, 
Oh, kill me, my phone's bouncing. Yeah, so um, I don't know that there's a perfect solution, but my recommendation is to um, make sure that you get your top coat all the way to the base of your nail. Um, even if there's no polish there, like I'm not flooding my cuticle with polish, right? But I'm covering the top coat. Um, and then I honestly usually don't get shrinkage um, and I, I only use mine. That doesn't mean you, you won't get shrinkage, but I tend not to. Um, but I do think getting a, a full, full coverage with the top coat helps. Um, I think if sometimes you don't get all the way to the base of the polish that then like over time as it dries, you see that shrinkage. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any tips, but I, like I said, it's not something that I experience that often. So I don't think I have lots of tips, um, but maybe somebody who's watching has tips for you um, on how they avoid it. Um, I feel like before I would use olive oil polish um, quick dry top coat, I definitely, I used other top coats that sometimes would shrink on me and sometimes wouldn't. And I just, I, I didn't really have like a clear, you know, if I do X, then I get shrinkage. And if I don't, then I don't. Um, so I'm not sure if it's just the combination of polish and top coat or, or what, but not that I studied it, you know, extensively, but that's, that's what I know. But I'm sure there's somebody watching who has some tips. Um, okay, so that was two coats of Sienna and quick dry top coat. And with quick dry top coat, the first thing you're going to get is this like shell. So, you know, I'm touching it and I'm not getting any indentation or anything, but if I were to like slide my finger and give it a lot of pressure, um, I probably would see some disruption because I just have this like hard shell. It's working its way down. It's drying all the layers. Um, and then once all the layers are dry, you're all good. Um, okay. If you missed the comparison at the beginning of these four lovely mustardy yellowy colors, um, I will pull it out and post the clip on my grid. Um, I've also started posting them to YouTube shorts. So if you're over on YouTube, you can see them there. Um, and I'm considering pulling the full length version of these replays and posting them on YouTube. Um, they're a little bit scattered, a little bit chatty, but, um, I know some people prefer to watch long form content. Um, on YouTube versus on Instagram. So if you have any opinions on that, uh, on where you think it would be helpful to post the replays of these lives, let me know. But yeah, hope you all have a great rest of your night. If you go sale, which is going on um, through the weekend. So yeah, have a good rest of your night. Bye everybody.